but we have our manufacturer reps um, down here. And I'm actually with Paul Locks, a good friend of mine, our Grand Design Reflection rep. And Paul, we're in one of the newest Grand Design Reflection floor plans. Right? That's right. This is our new uh, addition to our 150 series lineup. So this is more attention and focus into lighter weight, uh, less amount of slides, and short bed friendly with our turning point pin box. Uh, this is our 270BN, and the feature here, BN meaning breakfast nook, um, this was kind of developed uh, by us and also some uh, consumers that own a reflection product that actually kind of you know, navigated their way through changing out some parts and features into creating something similar. So we kind of took some of their ideas and brought in our own. Um, this addresses a few items in the, in the consumer demand that we've been hearing about is, hey, I want full access to the bedroom, bathroom, and the kitchen, uh, meaning primarily the fridge with the slide closed. So we've identified all of those key uh, ingredients into making this floor plan uh, a successful one. It's, it's hit the market, it's turning awesome. extremely well. Um, shorter length, you're under 30 foot at 29 foot 11, under 8,000 pounds unloaded, and then your hitch weight's gonna sit right at or under uh, 1,200 pounds. So it hits those key marks for shorter, lighter, and uh, like I mentioned too, the accessibility to all those items uh, within the coach. So turn it back to Hunter um, to kind of walk you through the floor plan. Well, I'll say in terms of this floor plan, that, that half ton towable segment, there's so many people now with half tons not want to step up to the $100,000 diesel trucks, and this really fits that segment, super easy to tow. But I love how Grand Design takes user feedback mm -hmm. so often, not only in terms of what floor plans are most um, in high demand, but also whenever they release a floor plan, there are some things that before it hits the market, it's not road tested yet. And this table is actually one of the newest things that y'all changed even mid-year, right? And that's, that's right. the best part about Grand Design is y'all aren't going to just let a product just ride. All right, we'll address it in 2024. This table specifically, it had two different uh, pedestals on either side. Um, it, we call them knee knockers a little bit. Wasn't the most convenient table to squeeze around. And I personally had a customer that re reached out to us. They bought a 260RD but loved this floor plan, fell in love with all the features of it. They just wanted to change the table and we accomplished it for them. And then Grand Design, y'all took that. Right. And they're now doing this, because this is the exact same basis on the 260RD. Correct, yeah. So the real purpose of this isn't to make it necessarily a sleeping space. If you notice it's open on the two sides, it's a little bit shorter length than what we would typically put in. Um, like a, a booth dinette where you could sleep. Um, so this does identify, you know, like Hunter mentioned, not having the two posts where you're trying to slide around from one corner to the next. Um, you can get around easy. easily. You can turn the table. You can push it down if you'd like to for transport, um, but it's easy to get around and maneuver. And then the other new addition is the fireplace as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that was, again, based on feedback of people wanting something like that in a shorter uh, unit as well. There, there are so many people who want what I call a faux place, a faux fireplace. And it's great because you can conserve your propane, especially in Texas. Usually you don't need to crank on that furnace with the winters we get here. Now, if you are in very cold, frigid temperatures, make sure that you do turn on your furnace because Grand Design is one of the few with an actual forced heat duct down into their holding tank area to make sure it's truly four seasons rated and including in their enclosed pump station that we'll get to outside. Um, but in terms of the video um, and, and opening up every cabinet, the amount of counter space and storage that you get through here is really incredible. Here's the new uh, Lippert tire link system uh, that they're including now. And that's that, a banded system. Is it really? Explain yeah, so that a little bit. It, it's a banded TPMS system that's uh, basically, it's all installed at the factory level through the supplier well, on the tire and wheel. So no longer do you have to individually pair the valve stems through the app. So you've got the monitor now that'll pair up and then the repeater box, it'll provide the feed from tires to the tow vehicle. Well, um, the other thing too, I forgot to mention, you do have a small outdoor kitchen here. So again, a couple's unit, yep. shorter length, uh, you know, by having that outdoor kitchen, typically you have to go into a bunk model. Right. Um, this, this sleeping two, maybe three, depending on the setup, um, you know, that, that hits another mark too for the, for the and, market. And I will say that the few rear livings that actually have an outside kitchen, they're few and far between. You usually just get a propane quick connect. On this one, you get an awesome fridge and a griddle cooktop, but usually it's also taking up so much cavities and cabinet space on the inside. And you'll notice an awesome entertainment center here, but the fridge is back behind here, but there's still no shortage of drawers. What they gave you in terms of pots and pan storage, tons of counter space as we scan across here. Drawers, no wasted space under the sink. Whole bank of drawers over here. This would be the perfect little coffee nook, wouldn't it? Uh, with your uh, outlets up top there, glass front, solid wood cabinets. And Paul, this is the new redesign, right? The new color scheme on the 2023s, late year model 23s? Yep, this is called River Rock. So we did have some 23s um, out in the field that were in our pebble decor, which is our previous decor. A little bit darker color, wood stain. Um, 
so we we basically from top to bottom uh, revised our decor scheme. So lighter cabinetry colors, uh, matte black hardwood finish on all of your uh, doors and drawers, new countertop finish. This is actually a smoother base. Uh, it is. You know, a little bit cleaner texture. feel. Um, new linoleum, yep. new uh, uh, furniture well, color scheme and feel. And then this has USB plugins on both cup holders. Well, here. What was the other big complaint about these Thomas Paynes? Uh, uh, hovering your hand over the yeah, and then it'll buzz setting. on you. Um, yep. it, now they're actual push buttons, yep. and again, so y'all can get the visual. You can go fully horizontal in these. You don't buy a camper like you cut buy a car by counting cup holders, but hey, having four here, especially when it is just a couple's camper, mm -hmm. or you have the grandkid or the family member you want to entertain, this is an awesome entertaining space. But in terms of still being able to, able to accommodate some of those longer trips, because again, you could even live in this camper. Grand Design is one of very few manufacturers that won't void your warranty if they find out that you're using it for residential business or commercial purposes. But it actually has enough, not only pantry space, but a huge 12 volt fridge because well, how much solar do we have on this guy this will have a 180 watt panel um, down to the charge controller so you have a 10 gauge wire down to your charge controller so this fridge can run off of battery especially when you're on the seven way going down the highway um, it'll keep your belongings cold you know your food and drinks and again being able to run in here and grab a you know a soft drink or a bottle of water make a sandwich and then get back into the car and go um, or truck i should say um well if you got yeah. a sunroof you could just hold on to there you go it's so lightweight right there you go. but in terms of the linoleum also i love that y'all did away with carpet on the slides yep and i've also redesigned a few things up in the bedroom to remove even more carpet up there as well mm -hmm. um the step in area that we'll go up to yeah, but also you'll notice on grand designs one of the few that don't have floor vents here so if you are entertaining you have enough open floor space to put several dog beds but also you're just walking in here with boots you're not going to crack them um, all the heat ducts are side mounted in the patented even flow heat system um, that does a really good job of heating the space if you're not uh, going to use the electric uh, form of heat with that faux fireplace. And you have that whole bank up there too, uh, Paul. Right. Yeah. We did radius this around too. Again, having this is a little bit different seating area than the norm. Um, so that's not going to be a head knocker. Right. We removed the knee knocker and the head knocker. Love it. Um, one thing too I forgot to touch on, Hunter. Uh, first to market, Grand Design fifth wheels with the anti-lock brake system. Absolutely. That's huge. So Even though this like isn't very heavy. Vehicle. Um, explain a little bit to those who are unfamiliar with what ABS even means. Right, so like, like a tow vehicle, any, any modern uh, recent produced uh, car, truck, SUV, they'll have anti-lock brakes. So if you're in, you know, wet pavement situation, snow, ice, uh, you know, even just having to pump the brakes coming up on an accident or road construction, um, that'll, you know, bind up and operate the uh, brakes individually so that you're not sliding all over the place and fishtailing. Really important when you're towing a trailer or fifth wheel 100 percent. because then you're going to have a, a very dangerous situation if you're on wet pavement you have to slam on the brakes so um, this will basically and, do just like your tow vehicle and to save you some searching because again i'm i'm full part of the grand design cult and i believe that there's really nothing else to compare but if you're looking for that elsewhere in the market they're not going to find it for at least two years right it's proprietary to grand right design. so solitude momentum and reflection uh brands all have that right but grand design solely. solely correct right, absolutely yes, yes. And, and so now we come over to the monitor panel and I, I love this and Paul's the one who uh, talked about in our last uh, reflection video, the tactic, uh, the tactile um, actual touch here, but also it's motion, sense light, even though it doesn't really matter, it's behind a closed door so it's not gonna keep you up. But the nice part about this is not only can you control your awnings, your slides, monitor all your lights, your tank heater, your water pump, but also you can do all of that from a phone app as well. Mm -hmm. You can connect via Bluetooth um, to your phone app and so instead of screaming out the camper, hey, honey, am I about to hit the tree? You can be out there yourself. Or if you're underneath the awning and the wind picks up, you don't even have to spill your beer. You can stay right outside and enjoy the great outdoors. Enjoy the breeze, but make sure that your awning doesn't get ripped off. And so now uh, we got two ACs on this guy. Paul, Correct. Right? Yep. Um, controlled right here for the main area. That's going to be your thermostat for the heat and the AC. You do have a max air fan. It's got a rain sensor on it right here in this main area. It does a really good job of uh, venting the space or venting the air through the space. But uh, talk a little bit about the RV um, airflow system that we've been doing for a little while. So that's something that we put on our Coleman Mach ACs and reflection fifth wheels. Um, that'll be on the main unit in the living area, no matter the model. Um, everything I send down here to Texas, of course, will have the second AC installed. If for some strange reason we uh, had to get one, a unit shipped down in a bind that didn't have one, it would be 50 amp pre-wired to have that added at the dealership level. Um, but for all intents and purposes, we do send everything down here with two airs. This unit is equipped with the RV airflow, which is basically a manifold or a baffle that collects and traps that air 
that's going to try to get through the vents and it actually directly forces increasing your CFM and air output, cools the unit faster and more efficiently, more evenly versus having this open and it just dumps the air in. And if you're sitting over here at the breakfast nook that we pointed out, you're not really getting the benefit to cool the, the uh, room as quickly. So by keeping these closed, you'll force all that air through the vents. In fact, with the RV airflow, this will be blocked off so you can't get that direct drop of AC flow, but it will increase your output through the vent system. So again, it's just gonna cool the unit down a lot more efficiently than uh, not having that equipment. And where a few fifth wheels actually even have any sort of duct work up in the attic, it has to cool the attic space before it starts cooling the rest of the camper. What's unique about Grand Designs, not only is it's forced directed ducted um, AC, but it's actually metal ducts. It doesn't look like a dryer vent. It's actually a metal chute that does a much better job of dispersing that air. And, and they test them at 100 degrees and it stays cool on the inside because we got R40 right in the roof, mm -hmm. R30 um, in the subfloor, and R9 yes. in the walls yep. um, and, and rear wall and slide wall most importantly. That's usually where you're losing a lot of your heat and AC because few have laminated slide walls. And you can really tell when you bang on the outside of these blackout roller shades. So even in these hot conditions, you can black it out in here and really keep it cool. Well, let's keep this train rolling, go on up to the front bedroom. Again, compared to like the 260RD that's kind of the sister floor plan, this bedroom and bathroom is accessible when the slide's in. In terms of accessibility, this is very accessible. Being six foot even, I've got almost a whole foot above my head. They have done a new shower head, much nicer, black, metal, and then this closed drying line that goes all the way across. Little caddies here that have been added recently. Very spacious porcelain toilet, as you'd expect. Good storage back behind here. Towel rods here, not hanging command strips right off the bat. Even a hand towel. Older medicine cabinet. Tankless water heater. You set it anywhere from 84 degrees up to 125. Um, and you can actually do a lot better job of uh, preserving water in your tanks. These have oversized tanks, the largest in the business. But um, if you're running off of just your fresh tank capacity, turning on the temperature to 84 degrees instead of to 125 or having unregulated temperature like an electric and gas water heater, you can turn down that temperature 84 degrees and actually use a lot less water while still taking a comfortable shower. They deepen the sink on the newest 2023s. Um, it was a little bit more shallow stainless sink, but made that much deeper without sacrificing any storage deep down beneath it. Heat duct down there. You see also, so nothing that you're going to step or have nasty fall down into in the bathroom setting. Your paper towel holders in there and then a great bank of drawers underneath. Also compared to so many floor plans, there is no swinging pocket door. Really nice, excuse me, no more swinging door, a really nice sliding pocket door with the bungee to hold it in place. And then they carried the redesign into this uh, bedroom, not only with a really nice quilt, by the way, um, but carrying that lighter tone cabinets, which makes what could be a potentially smaller space um, than some of the bigger bed slide models feels so much more open. Still standing up in this elevated front cap, have still a ton of head height up here. Good storage on either side of the bed. New sconces, new headboard. A USB and they even are now doing the uh, Super C um, plug-in, not just USB. Now you also have awesome windows in this space. Get a good cross breeze going. There is an exit window up front. Underneath the bed, it's actually gas assisted. You're not gonna have to muscle with it. Here's right up tons of storage underneath. Same 5 8 inch plywood that they use for the tongue and groove underneath. And the subfloor. And then great closet space there. They actually added a, another drawer. It used to only be three. Now it is a full four drawers all the way down. And this here is the only heat duct in the entire camper and it's in a very unobtrusive location. There is a TV backer location up along that side of the wall. So if in a small space you're wanting to get a little bit of privacy and get away, um, you can actually have not only a TV in here in that front area, but also our parts department sells a TV mount that has uh, two backer plates and one mount. You can take your TV off the wall here, put it right outside, and when you're ready to hit the road or break down camp for the night, just bring it right back inside and you're back to watching movies in your bedroom. But this is a great uh, bedroom space and bathroom space and living and kitchen, and almost the entirety of it is accessible when the slide is in. I would actually like to pull that slide in so that y'all can get that visual because it's something that's really important and that not very many people focus on. 
Now we're also doing rack opinion Correct. slides on these now, right? Correct. And there was we an issue. went to the flush floor slides, um, kind of timed out, moving away from the Schwintech on these bigger applications in time with getting out of the uh, carpet and the slide. And, and the Schwintech slides had some issues across the entire industry. Grand Design went above and beyond for their customers to not just put a band-aid on the situation, but then moving forward also, uh, making sure that they were still producing quality product with a more reliable slide like the rack opinion. But look at what you have in this coach, even when the slide's in. You could actually cook lunch when you're going down the road, sit at the dinette, you could even sit in one of the recliners, have all this counter space. You'd have to have a generator in the back of the truck if you're gonna turn on the TV, but almost the entirety of the coach outside of what you needed out of the pantry um, is accessible even with this slide out in which is really remarkable. But hey, there's still some things to touch on the outside, so let's just run out there real quick and stay tuned. Yeah, now we're back outside on this uh, awesome 2023 Grand Design Reflection 270BN for a breakfast nook floor plan. And something that, Paul, you were alluding to inside was how you check in so many boxes in terms of what a couple might want for their perfect camper. And one of the most common requests is right here, right, in the outside kitchen. But this awesome, you know the line if you've been watching these videos for a while, beer, Dr. Pepper fridge there an awesome great old cooktop that I can't get to because of an awesome feature on these grand designs and that you just get one key to the entire camper. That one key, you're the only one that has the key to it and it locks this deadbolt so nobody can make off with that awesome griddle, but I don't have that one key because it's specific to the model. And so um, we'll be roll to that once we're able to get it unlocked. But when I was referencing inside the bedroom of where we could mount the second TV mount to move the TV from inside to uh, out here, it would go right here. There's a backer plate right there. Grand Design uses EGS backer plates to make sure it has good screw retention um, and that everything mounts properly, not only on the outside, but that's what their awnings are mounted to, all their cabinetry has screw retention from wood ran through the aluminum. It, this thing is not gonna rattle and shake and fall apart when you're going down the road. And then we have these awesome solid steps yep. here as well. And this one, due to the axle placement being oh. a little bit further up, again, in a sub 30 foot model, um, as you can see, we couldn't do a traditional fold-up step, so we did include those solid steps on there. And as you zoom in on these tires, these good years, there is a uh, year warranty on them. And it has the CRE 3000 suspension system that's on the $175,000 Momentums and Solitudes. That's gonna take three inch potholes in stride instead of you bucking and chucking all the way down these rough roads. They now started doing a painted J-Wrap that just looks super sharp in the front here. Look at the thickness of these nice slam latch baggage doors. It's going to be very Four Seasons rated, and you can actually see visually the forced heat duct down there. That's not only going to keep any water jugs, things that you're going to bring along in this pass-through storage, but also your whole uh, pump station that we're going to show on the other side. But you also have these big, deep bins, and some people are going to post up and camp for a long period of time. They actually have outlets here, and you can run them outside um, without having to leave the baggage door open. We have two 30 pound propane tanks uh, balanced on either side. And then a huge front compartment with your solar uh, charger. But this is the turning point hitch that uh, Paul alluded to inside uh, was what kind of makes it a half ton towable um, and more accessible for these short bed trucks. Paul, you wanna talk a little bit about how it works? Yeah, so if you're looking at you know a traditional kingpin, and unfortunately we're not next to one, um, your, your pivot point's always gonna be up here where you're hooking up the hitch. So by switching to this turning point, this is gonna be more friendly for a short bed pickup, or if you're in the need of a sliding hitch, um, this is often gonna take up a lot of space and weight in the bed of the truck. And so you could put a standard fifth wheel hitch on here. There's two bolts further back this way. I don't know if you can get the camera down here. These two bolts here would be removed, and that moves your pivot point back 22 inches. Now that's part one. Part two is you have your wedge block here, that's going to actually lock in place when you're hooked up to the hitch in the bed of the truck, eliminating the uh, ability to have two pivot points. You want to only have one at all times. So that's going to force the pin box itself to make the turns. So you can do those tighter turns through gas stations and campsites, backing into spots and whatnot, um, getting in and out of tight situations without that need for the uh, sliding hitch. When they rebranded to the Kurt, they basically flipped the housing. So this is where you would grease all your fittings. Um, a lot easier and accessible for serviceability and maintenance. The, this bungee breakaway cable is a lot nicer than the wire style that it used to come with. And something else new that Grand Design's doing on the 2023 models is on this side. They, they now, a, for a little bit, y'all were doing a, a backup camera that was paired through the app, 
Right. Now we went back to a Furion system uh, through consumer feedback, but it's now become so popular, these Furion camera systems. When you go with either a five or a seven inch display, you can also get side view cameras. And if you come over to this side, you can actually see it used to be that we'd have to take off the whole light housing and install a whole new um, assembly right here. Now Grand Design's already sitting there prepped. Very easy for even the consumer to pop it on themselves. But of course, if you're not comfortable with it, we have the best parts and service team in the country um, to get that handled for you. Now on this side, we're on a pump station. Your auto leveling controls, you do have four point one touch auto leveling. It also is a very smart system to where it'll recognize hitch height. Whenever you uh, get disconnected and you hit auto level when you're ready to get hitched again, you can press hitch height and it's gonna retract the rears fully and bring the front up to where it was at for you to get connected easily. But Paul, this is a little bit different Nautilus system than what we saw in uh, previous year models before 2023. Right, so this is now the P4. By switching to the uh, on-demand tankless water heater, mm. this will actually put the antifreeze through the water heater on the winterized setting. So before, if you set it to winterize, it would bypass your tank, or your uh, water heater, I'm sorry, and your holding tank, which would cause some issues with winterizing improperly, basically. So this now puts the antifreeze through that, bypasses your fresh water tank, and goes into your fixtures in the unit, which is what you need. And that makes so much sense. I was actually curious as to why that got yeah, switched. Yeah, streamlines but... everything, makes it, makes it super user friendly. And that tankless water heater is awesome. Literally 30 seconds, almost set a timer to it. I think it's taken 40 seconds before, but you're getting hot water almost instantaneously. Now, in terms of being very smart and convenient, an area that you don't want to be blind in is back here. When you're at your dump station, all your tank pulls are inside where that Nautilus system is, so you're not having to reach way up underneath here, but you can actually see what you're doing because it never fails that you are trying to set up camp and pulling in late after the sun's already set. But then we're on the side. When I was talking about the thump test, to tell that it's double laminated or uh, fully laminated uh, slide and rear walls and R9 insulation. You can actually hear it and feel it yourself. Then we'll come to the back here. You do have a gray tank dump back here as well. So you can get a Y connector when you're finished at your campground, just move um, the sewer hose to the rear. Uh, but that's because it's residential uh, grid plumbing. They're gonna make sure it has proper rise over run so that everything's draining properly. And then on the back side here, have a 3,500 pound receiver hitch with a 350 pound hitch weight to where if you want to bring along a generator, you absolutely can. With another spray port back here, which is more functional in my eyes than a sink. You can use it to hose off, but still a source of cold water. And of course you had a hot and cold shower up in that Nautilus system. But it's a pretty complete camper. Well, I'm really proud of what Grand Design's done and making what is an awesome couples camper. But if you are looking for bunk models, a little bit bigger couples camper, something that's more fitting to be lived in, I encourage you to check out more from Grand Design, but let us know what else you'd like to see. Give us some more user feedback. If you see something that you would like to change on this, chances are Grand Designs is listening and they'll implement those changes, but we wanna hear what you wanna see, bring you some more videos through this weekend. We'd also love for you, seeing videos is one thing, coming out to see these in person, lay your hands on them, work with an educated salesperson who fits your needs, uh, and has a heart for you. We'll help you find the right model and get you the best prices over this RV show. But come down and see us this whole week as we shout over the I-35. We're really convenient, clearly. Just right off I-35, either here in Sanger, Corinth, Rockwall, Fort Worth, or up in Oklahoma City. But thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you, Paul, so much for an awesome video on this, again, 2023 Grand Design Reflection 270BN.